Go ahead and remove the tire. Now there are two holes on this drum. You need to take two metric bolts and screw them into the holes. Take your socket and ratchet and slowly tighten them down, alternating between them. Now you can rock the brake drum off. Take your approved brake cleaner and spray down everything from top to bottom, making sure that the runoff drips into your oil drain pan and is disposed of properly. Now let everything dry. Now you want to remove the large spring and adjusting mechanism near the top. Take your brake spring pliers and unhook it from the left. Take your brake tool and put it over the washer and spring on the rear shoe. Give it all about a quarter of a turn and the spring will come off along with the top and bottom washers. You can now pull the brake shoe out. Unhook the bottom of the shoe from the spring at the bottom. You can take the spring off entirely and set it aside. Just let the brake shoe hang. Going to the front brake shoe, repeat this procedure as we did on the rear shoe by putting the brake tool over the washer and spring near the center of the shoe. Give it all about a quarter of a turn and the spring will come off along with the top and bottom washers. Now you can pull the shoe off. Remove the spring and adjusting mechanism that we unhooked from the rear of the shoe at the beginning. Take your new front brake shoe and attach the spring and adjusting mechanism to it. The mechanism slides into the slot on the shoe while the end of the spring goes into this hole. Turn the star wheel on the mechanism until it's as short as possible. Slide the anchor pin that is still attached to the inside of the brake drum and put it through the hole in the center of the brake shoe and hold it in place. Slide the bottom washer with the raised side facing up, the spring, then the top washer with the raised side facing down. Using your brake spring tool, push in and give it all a quarter of a turn so that the shoe is locked into place. Make sure that you do one side of the brakes at a time so you can refer to the other side if you get stuck. Flip the brake shoe over. Now there are two pieces to the emergency arm, the main arm and the adjusting arm. The adjusting arm is attached by a small clip. Go ahead and remove it. 